So third sub from the super chill is the shotgun armbar or the step over armbar. We'll just do it um, without the paper cutter setup. So on here, the problem with, with this grip is if I find this and clamp this, stepping over can be an issue. By the time I try to get my foot over his head, you know, it's, that can be a, a, a flexibility thing. So the detail is I move my body back, okay? And I don't go tight with this. So from this position, I'm moving my body back and my head's moving this way, which allows me easily to get the foot over. Now that I get the foot over, I fill that space with my knee. So I'm nearly connecting my left heel to my right knee. From there, the palm of my hand covers uh, Matthew's elbow. And to get the sub, I bring my left elbow back to my lat, and then I just engage my hips. It's one of those submissions, it's hard to see it visually. It's just really connection. So again, from that position, hard for me to get my leg over his head when I'm high on his chest like this. It comes a flexibility thing. Possibly, you know, if you are very flexible, you can do it from here. I find I'll move my hip up and I'll move my hips back. That allows me to get the leg over. And I'm not being super heavy with this. It's just controlling his elbow line. And I have my elbow clamp. Leg comes over, fill the space, engage my hip. But I think the best way to do it is from that paper cutter setup. Matthew's going to tuck his chin. I'm here, I start to roll it in. Now I'm waiting for him to push. I let him push it that way. And now I slide my knee up to his um, right armpit and then I just step over his head. Once I'm there, it's really about me making the connection of my thigh against um, his right tricep. Now if he tries to get that arm back, it's difficult. And now from there, I just get my grips now I can let go of that and I'm back into that same position again. I just hip in. So again, one more time on that. So I start to set up the paper cutter. The minute he pushes, I don't resist. The further he pushes up, the better. Because now my leg comes over and acts like a wedge. So he can't get that back again. And now from there I'm pinching. Ready to bring it back. Then my hand comes through. It's under my armpit. I find the elbow. Again, there is an inverted arm lock here as well, but we just come up, make that connection, left heel to right knee, elbow back, engage the hips. So step over arm bar, shotgun arm bar, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> but it's 